everyone. Welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and I have, I just felt something in my eye, a little lint or something. I felt it touch me. Anyway, I have a few skincare things here. I like literally just a few. Some of them are minis, but sometimes even in a mini, you hate it so much you don't want to finish it, even though it's like two uses. Um, so I have a few things here, a few full sizes, few minis um, that I want to share, just why I don't like them, why I'm letting them go, that kind of a declutter, I guess. Um, that's about it. So let's just talk about them, shall we? The first thing I got to mention again, this scrub from Hand in Hand. I hate, I hate this with all of my heart. This is the worst scrub I've ever used in my life. It's the Sugar Scrub Sweet Mint and Eucalyptus. I talked about this in another video, the um, anti-project pan, like products I don't want to finish. I tried so hard with this. And when I squeezed it all to the bottom, it's probably like right there, but I can't do it. It's god awful i absolutely hate it it's so thick with oil I, mm, I talk about it at length in that video how much i hate this i'll link that down below if you want to hear me going on and on about how awful this is but i have to let this go i can't i can't power through it it's just terrible um but anyway let's get on to the other thing shall we so i have here the avino positively radiant daily brightening skin brightening daily scrub so this is a very 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 gentle exfoliating scrub uh, like a physical exfoliator but it's also a face wash so it is very gentle uh gentle enough to use every day but in that sense it's almost useless you know what i mean like it's not exfoliating at all it has like five random little pieces that you'll feel moving around your face like it's not even enough to exfoliate over time and i just don't understand why they even made this and didn't just keep the face wash and the scrub at two separate pieces because it's too gentle to be a scrub for anybody at any time. The face wash part is fine. I'm not a big fan of the scent Avino has. It's like a very notice, not noticeable scent, but it's very classic Avino. Like if you've used any of their skincare, you know exactly the smell I'm talking about. It's in here too. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite smell. It does linger. Um, not the worst smell ever, but it's very natural, which it smells good, but I just don't want to smell it all day. Um, I just don't want to reach for this. It's too, like, I want a scrub to be a face scrub, and this is not it. It's too gentle, pretty, like, non, non-scrub. Like, it's just nonsense. I don't know. Just don't like it. I'm also letting go of the Mamand Rose Water Toner. I've tried a few samples from this brand, and I don't like anything, especially this rose stuff. It is so overpowering. Oh, my gosh. So this toner, I got to smell it just to be sick. Ugh. it's like I don't know if it's an artificial scent or not but dang it smells artificial and it's so strong the scent lingers all day or all night whenever you put this on um, I just just not a fan it the scent is just way too intense for me the scent is even if this was like a miracle in the bottle the scent would just completely ruin it for me I just don't like it um, I have in here the drunk elephant sea firma day serum I do not get the hype on this. Um, even in this sample, there were several uses in here. I know there's got to be a couple left. It's an airless pump, so I can't tell you how much is in here, but it had five milliliters anyway. Obviously, a little sample. Um, this smells so metallic, and I don't mind when a product smells medicinal if it's working and that's just kind of like non fragrance and stuff, and it just smells like the ingredients and the medicinal properties it has. But this, I just don't like the smell of it. It, the scent doesn't justify the results. Like, I just don't like this. I don't like the way it spreads so grossly over my face. I uh, don't like anything about this. Glad I never purchased a full size. Drunk Elephant, to me, has more misses than hits for me personally. Um, and this is definitely one of the misses. Just don't like it. <clears throat> oh, I have this thing from Glow Recipe. I mentioned this, it, not mentioned this, but I mentioned the scent of this in another video. This is the Watermelon Juice... Uh, Waterman Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. I talked about, no, I didn't talk about, I bought the Glow Recipe Glow Babies, like a little set. Came with this really cute mesh bag and a bunch of minis, pretty much of all of their products. And I don't like a lot of them, which kind of sucks because I want to like this brand. They're so cute. Their Retinol Avocado Melt Eye Cream is the bomb. I love it so much. One of my favorite products ever. And I've tried this moisturizer many, many times over the years, or over the last couple of years, whatever, how long it's been around. I feel like I've been trying it for a long time in samples. Um, the scent is very Jolly Ranchers. Smells good. 
lingers. So if you don't like scent in your skincare, you won't like this. It's not offensive though. It's a very light scent, but it does smell like Jolly Ranchers. The reason I'm letting go of this is because it does nothing for me. My face sucks it up right away and I'm like, oh, I got to put something else on. Um, but it is for oily to combo skin, which I do not have. So I know this is not made for my skin type, which is why it's not enough moisture for me. And I just can't find another use for it. Maybe I'll just rub it into my hands here and there. But no, I don't like the way it feels on my hands. Um, but yeah, just, just not enough moisturizer for me. Just don't really like it. I'm letting go of the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. I absolutely hate, hate this sunscreen so much. It's so freaking thick and sticky. It is so hard to move around your face. I hate this dispenser that gets so gross because it's this like you twist it like this and squirt it out. This is one of the worst sunscreens I've ever used in my whole life. I absolutely hate it. Letting that go. Um, I have a few things from Laneige and these are all very good. It's just the fragrance is so overpowering to me. I have two little samples of the moisture cream, the water bank moisture cream. I really, really like this moisturizer. I love water cream and cloud cream type of moisturizers. This is great, but the scent is so overpowering. And it's not a, like a, any kind of fragrance in particular. It smells like Laneige, kind of like Aveeno has their signature scent. This stuff has Laneige's signature scent and it's way overpowering to me. It gives me a headache, it lingers. It's not very strong, but for some reason it gives me a headache every single time. Um, and I'm also letting go of the Essential Power Skin Toner. This I used a couple of times Oh my God, the scent is so strong with this. I don't know why. And it just, I could smell it all day long on my face, which sucks because I really liked this. Um, but yeah, ugh, the scent alone, I just can't. And I'm not against scented products. I love a nicely, when it scent, when it like it elevates the experience a little bit, but sometimes a scent just gives me a headache and it's a no-go for me. Um, oh, this little thing from Glow Recipe, another Glow Recipe. The Pineapple Sea Bright Serum, this came in the Glow Babies set. I hate everything about this serum. So it is incredibly, incredibly sticky. No matter how little you use, it's gonna be the stickiest, like grossest feeling, which I don't normally mind because you're gonna put a moisturizer on top of it, but your moist, my, my moisturizer anyway goes on so gross on top of this and it makes the moisturizer sticky. It smells like fermented pineapple, which I do not enjoy. And, oh, look, maybe you could see it through here. So maybe not through my hand, but there are like pieces of pineapple in the serum. It's inside the little pipette. I don't know if you can see it. There's little chunks of pineapple in there. And at first I thought maybe they were like um, little balls that burst and it kind of dissolve on your face, but they're not. They're pieces of pineapple and they do not dissolve. They don't rub into your face. You'll just find them and be like, this, what is this? Like, I just don't get it. Doesn't do enough for me to keep going with it. Uh, the chunky pineapple pieces, the awful scent and the stickiness, don't like this at all. And then last but not least, something I find that just came to terms with that I just don't understand is from The Ordinary. And it's the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. What's HA? Is that hyaluronic acid? It doesn't say on the, on the bottle what it is, but I'm going to assume that it's hyaluronic acid. So I bought this because Gothamista talked about it and she said it was pretty good. And I had wanted to try a few things from The Ordinary, which is weird because I've been so against trying this brand for years. And I finally bought a few things and this is not one of my favorites. So it's just a moisturizer. With, this is the weirdest, grossest moisturizer I've ever used. So it comes out very thick. It almost feels like a silicone primer, but not with that kind of finish. But when you feel it, like it feels like a primer. It's very thick, which seems promising. Cause you're like, oh man, that's gonna be great on my skin. But then once you rub it in, it disappears. And my face felt so tight and like, oh, I gotta, I gotta put another moisturizer on. But then trying to put something else on top of this, it would make it go on so gross that I would just rinse my face off. It just felt so yucky. And then there are times when I put this on where I feel like it's a layer of melted plastic and I'm suffocating with a mask on and I gotta rinse it off. I feel like when I go in this area here, especially my upper lip, maybe it's because of all the pores that are there, I don't know, but it feels like it seals them all in with cement and it's like stuck and I'm like, ugh, and I have to wipe it off. It's so 
weird. And I was like, there's no way. This is just so odd to me, so gross, so just like, not for me. I've been trying to use it on my hands. It's just a moisturizer on my hands. Very hit and miss. Don't like this at all. And that is it. Those are some current fails of skincare, some things I'm going to be decluttering. Luckily, a lot of them are mini, so I don't feel like too bad about it. Usually, if I'm letting go of like a full-size thing, I try to find someone at work that might want it or try to find a, another use for it, like washing my brushes with it or something. Um, but all of these, just don't enjoy them for one reason or another. Let me know some current skincare fails of yours. I would love to know what they are, and I will see you later in another video. Bye-bye.